unlike most brides, Kelly won't be choosing her own wedding dress. But that's not going to stop her from dreaming. I work in jeans and a top, and I live in jeans and top. So to wear something that you wouldn't get a chance to wear anywhere else is really important because it's going to make me feel different. Oh, that's very different. You know what? It's different. And I actually like this. Yes. But not for my wedding. In my mind, the most important thing to me is what I look like on the day. It's a, you want to be gorgeous, you want the right dress. I think I can cope with anything else, but if the dress is wrong, I don't care what else is done throughout the day. If I feel rubbish. Oh, lace, yes, yeah. I feel like I'm wearing someone's curtains. Right. I don't like this, I don't like the lace. And I'm not it's really keen on loads of net. It's got to be white. I really like white. Yeah, still not me. If Kelly can't find her ideal dress, what chance has Mark got? It's Mark, nice. Hi, you all right? But it doesn't take him long to find a favourite. That, to me, is... That's a princess dress. And I like these. I like the colour. Is that too much with all this? It's a wedding day, isn't it? Oh. And to help him decide, a shop assistant offers to try the dress on. It's easy to say I've got to get it right, mm. but the fact is, if I get it wrong, because after everything, all this I've given her mm. for so long, she was like, you know, have you got any idea? I'm like, I've been with you 10 years. I know what you look good in. Yeah. I know what I like you in. Yeah. Genuinely, that's what I've said to her. I know, I think I can pick you a wedding dress. Mm. And I said that, and I wish I had <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. That makes me smile. Oh, do you know what? I can see her in that. I can see her wearing it. But it's really nice. Mm. I really like it. But she never wears dresses. But I want her to wear something that she feels womanly and sexy and... She feels nice -y. I want to feel like Kelly again, and not like, Mom, Mom, Mom. I really do like it, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to go for it. Okay, Mark you. spent nearly a grand on a bejeweled and corseted floor-length dress, which Kelly won't see until the day before she sets sail. With limited phone and email on the ship, it's not until the next day that the boys find out the reason behind Lossie's no-show. After much soul-searching, he's made the hard decision to step down as best man. You need this. I don't know if you've got that feeling you're not going to make it. It's a nightmare, isn't it? Hello? There's still a ton to do, and with Lozzie out of the picture, there's no one to help Mark back in the UK. So Dave has contacted the bridesmaids, and once again, Lynn has to step up and sort it out. He can stick it right up or don't. Right, okay, okay. So he said, he said, oh, well, um, he said, can, can you spend about £25 on the little girls' ones each? I can't believe Mark could do this, because I thought he and knew. Then, he said, can you get a dress as cheap as possible for you? With the wedding looming, panic is setting in. Kelly has no clue what's going on, nor should she. Mark's meant to be in charge. I can't, I can't do anything. I can't help anyone out of the situation, so I'm sorry. I feel really bad now on everybody. I don't think Mark has any idea that nothing has been happening in this end. Does Mark not want me to be a chief bridesmaid? I don't know. I, don't know. Is that I think Mark doesn't want me to be a bride. I think him and Dave have eloped. It needs sorting, because yeah, it's just... It's getting too close just to leave now. It's ridiculous. Do you use that £100 on you and... We'll have to sort the kids. Cos I'm thinking, is it just got completely out of his control? Is, is his head fell off? Cos it isn't the mark I know. So has he just got out of his depth completely? Once again, Lynn steps in. Wow. That's a bridesmaid's dress. Do you think? Do you mm. think? Yes, I do. Like I think my mummy has this one on. Nah, it's too pink. 
I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Mm. Leah wants her own, make her own mind up. Oh, it looks like a nice oh, dancing one, dress. Back. To get the two that fit together when they have to be ordered weeks before, to get them to fit, it's it's stressful. I'm limited to what I've got to pick from because of the time. Oh, very pretty. I like the headbands, Leah. Would you like to try a headband? Tiara! <laughs> Are you being Queen Leah? Come on, let's look at this little flower girl. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, Do you look gorgeous? Give me cuddle. <laughs> I quite like them. Like I'm a, a bride more than a bridesmaid. After spending £130 of her own money, Mark is going to be in debt to mother-in-law Lynn for the rest of his life. Kelly doesn't want glitz. She dreams of romance, and nothing is more romantic than a wedding dress. This is the first thing that I've seen these picked on as well, so yes. I'd like to yeah. see. Yeah. What do you this think it'll be like? Do you know what? I can't even imagine now. I'm very confident, but now it's there. It's like, yeah. Oh, my. She looks fine, though. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yep. Will the dress restore Kelly's faith in her husband to be? Our princess. It just fits you perfect. He's got it so right. It's stunning. Happy girl for now. Now we've got this bit right. No, I am definitely expecting my castle. That's it, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. with this, where are you going to put? I know, that's it. Well, you've you know, got, you've the got to put me in the right setting. Yeah. If you're doing Cinderella, then I think... Tiara dress, so... I'm getting confident again now. Yeah. There's one more surprise for Kelly. I'm getting so excited. I would like you all to pack a bag with what you will need for a trip away. We're going abroad, we, <laughs> we need a passport. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. <coughs> so what about all these guests? They must all know what they're doing. Yeah, they must all do. All these guests. I've not even thought about guests. Going. I've not even thought about guests. Yeah, thinking about all our family and friends, everyone's got, like, jobs, children. So it's not like we're just all, like, in our 20s with no responsibilities and we can just all pack up and go.